I just um, wanted to ask y'all a question. Um, I got one for you too, Matthew. It feels good. You're live. Who are we talking to? Where are you calling from? Yeah, this is uh, Matthew. I'm calling from South Carolina. But yeah, um, I just wanted to ask y'all a question. Uh, I got one for you too, Matthew. What's that? You any kin to those Murdochs? <laughs> no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. The, 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 yeah. Then you can continue. <laughs> so, I know every single team in the off season is fifteen and zero. Everybody's going to be excellent. But I need y'all to take y'all's homer head off. Mm-hmm. And tell me realistic expectations for this year. Okay. Uh, great. I can do great. that. Fantastic. Great stuff, Matthew. I've got mine. To me, um, eight wins is a great year. A great yeah. year. Yes. And – You beat the people you're supposed to beat, and maybe I don't expect Hugh Freeze in his first year with this roster to beat Alabama or Georgia. Damn right. I don't. No. I expect him with this roster to win the ones he's to, to finish top half of the West. Okay. I think that's eight wins. Now you're finishing ahead or. Because you've got Alabama, you've got LSU, you've got A and M, you've got Arkansas. Auburn should be better than Arkansas, Mississippi State, and Ole Miss. Right. And am I, am I leaving anybody else out? No. It, and you you got your four non conference games, and you swap out Penn State for Cal, so there shouldn't be an issue winning in your four non conference games. Granted, you got to go to the West Coast to play. Uh, hold so on, hold on. Gives, Say that again. Say that again, Jay Head. Four non conference games, which includes cupcake. Which includes cupcake. cupcake, 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 and Cal. Okay. Cal's your power five team. Cal replaces Penn State. I awesome. think you've got Sanford as an FCS team. Let me pull up. Let's just pull up the That's schedule right. real quick. Okay, we'll yeah. go. There you go. But but Auburn should should Auburn fans, Jay Head, should Matthew <laughs> By the way, Auburn man. I am not an Auburn fan, so please do not ever put that sick, sick mess on me. Should Matthew expect Auburn to go four and zero non conference? Yes, one hundred percent. You should. And if expect they don't, to go then he should be somewhat disappointed. Yeah, in my okay. opinion, yes. Okay, so there's four wins. You're halfway to eight. Now there, you got to find four SEC wins. Cole, can you find four SEC wins? Is that- I, there is a weird dynamic, by the way, to this Cal game just because it's in Berkeley and it's it's an early game with a new staff and whatnot, and we don't know the quarterbacks. You know, there's a lot of things. So that's a that's a weird one, but Auburn should win that game. I mean, Auburn without a head coach should win that game, right? Right. Yes. I don't want to go quite that far, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I got your schedule whenever you guys are. Yeah, you go, guys go ahead. Go ahead. I, you got very right. built. On the schedule, oh, hold on, Zach. yes, SEC win. There Easy. you go. There's your fourth one. Easy. So there's five. So you got four non-conference. You got Vanderbilt's five. Yep. All right. Huh? So let's go. UMass win, right? Sure. Yeah. Cal win. I say win. <laughs> <laughs> Sanford win. Yeah. At Texas A&M. I'm not ready to say win yet. That's, no. That's the fourth game of the season? Mm-hmm. Fourth game of the season. Mm. I'm going to say loss. Okay. Right now. Yeah. I, 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 Matthew, once you take Even your... though, now, let's see how Bobby Petrino and Jimbo work out hey. because they could be in a cage match on the sideline by the time we get to that fourth it game. It could go one of two ways, Jayhead. They could be in a yeah. cage match and it doesn't work at all. It's a disaster or it's going to be one of the best offenses you've ever seen. I agree. The wheels, the wheels might be coming off too. 
There's no yeah. in between. <laughs> no, it, it's either going to really hit or it's going to be a disaster. Either way, you're going to want to watch Texas A&M this year. So Texas A&M, I'm not ready. To right. Yeah, I'm going to go lost so far. Yeah, me too. Georgia, lost. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it, keep it competitive. Yep. At LSU. I'm not Lost. ready to. Yep. I'm not ready no. to talk. Loss. All right. Now we That's get three, to your three your, and three. Your, you're three and three. And now you get Ole Miss coming to town. Ooh. Um, do you yeah, know man. how lit Jordan, Jordan Harris going to be that go. night? That's a win for me. That's, a, that's a win for that's me. That's a dumb. And I promise you this. If anybody doesn't think that Hugh Freeze has that game circled on his calendar, he can say whatever he wants in the offseason. Hugh, I love you. I don't believe you. If you tell me that game doesn't matter, I don't buy it, brother. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> and I don't buy it for the Auburn fan base either because they want a piece of Lane Kiffin for as much as he runs his mouth on Twitter. They want every bit of it, man. But Four I'm with you. Three. That one, Four and that three. One might, that one might resemble the Egg Bowl a little bit. Yeah. This is we're going back to the two uh, tube steak days when when yep. Ole Miss really meant something, right? Yeah. There you go. All right, four now, and three after Ole Miss. Four and three. Now we got a chance of some momentum because guess who's coming right back to town? Mississippi State. Oh man, you go Mississippi wow. schools back to back. Now we're at five and three. Now you're going to Vanderbilt. It's a win. Now you're six and three. Then you get in at Arkansas. Now that could be difficult. That could be difficult. I would say that's a win right now. Me too. I, I think they lost. I think they lost a lot of key players. I I think that's a win for Auburn. They want to. I, I can't see us dropping that game. Right. That's the right. one. That's the one I, I'm talking about. You yeah. got to win that one. Well, let me let me throw a wrench. I, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the loss, the the weird loss, the one that really doesn't make sense is Mississippi State and and they win at Arkansas. Okay. Okay. So Cole, Cole Mississippi State kind of had Auburn's number. These past few sure. years, if we're being honest, and listen, they're they're they've got the new coach, Pirates die, you know. Uh, okay, so so let's keep going. Cole's got you at six and four. I've got them at seven and three. See, to me, it, it, and I, I'm with you, Jay Lee. We're seven and three, or no, six and three. I'm sorry. Is no, you're, you're six, seven. No, it's seven and three. Yeah. We beat Arkansas. Well, do you, if you beat Arkansas, you're seven and three. Mm -hmm. Um, so you've won four in a row. Yeah, you've won four in a row. Then you got New Mexico State. Ooh, there's that's your eight. A, win. That's, that's a dub. You're at eight. And then you go to Alabama. Keep it that's close. An L. Yeah. That, eight and that's four. an L. Yeah, that's eight and four. I'm going to say seven and five because I'm going to create some margin for error there. I think that we do drop one. But I think you get to eight wins with a bowl victory. And then it's about what happens off the field. Do you create – the momentum you need on the recruiting trail and showing up proof of concept on the field to capitalize with a top 10 recruiting class. And then also another top 10 portal class off of what you put on tape this year. That to me is success. If you can get to seven and five, eight and five, or eight and four, nine and four, that is a successful season to me. And you're one of the Hugh Freeze era.